The music of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart exemplifies for many the pinnacle of the classical era. There's a certain elegance, humor, and pathos, with beautiful melodies and memorable expressions of both joy and sorrow. He wrote pretty much every kind of music that existed in his day, from solo keyboard pieces to chamber works, operas, and large-scale choral works. He began writing music at the age of five or so, but his musical career began as a child prodigy keyboard player, following in the footsteps of his sister Mariana, or Nanaro. She was five years older than Wolfgang. Their father, Leopold, who was a composer, took the two of them to Munich and Vienna when the children were six and eleven. In Vienna, they were invited to play for Empress Maria Theresa at the summer palace Schönbrunn. Wolfgang, who still needed to have books put on the piano bench to be able to reach the keys, famously broke with protocol and jumped into the Empress's arms to hug and kiss her. Beginning in 1763, Leopold and his wife Anna Maria took their son and daughter back on tour. They spent several years traveling and performing. They played for King George III, and the young Mozart met Johann Christian Bach, son of Johann Sebastian. Young Wolfgang began to concentrate on composition with his father as teacher and received commissions writing instrumental works as well as his first operas. When Wolfgang was 14, his father took him to Italy for two years, looking for opera commissions. It was on this trip that he heard the Allegri Miserere, which was only allowed to be performed in the Vatican's Sistine Chapel. After hearing it once, he was able to write out the complete score. In 1777, he went on a trip to Mannheim, Paris, and Munich, looking for a job with better opportunities, this time accompanied by his mother. But the trip was a series of disappointments. The worst of all was when his mother became ill and died in July of 1778. He returned to Salzburg to become court organist, where he wrote the Coronation Mass and other works for the church, but eventually had a falling out with the archbishop and decided to move to Vienna in 1781. Mozart lived with friends at the home of Fridolin Weber and fell in love with his daughter Constanza. They were married the following year. He and Constanza had six children, but only two lived past infancy, Karl and Franz Xavier. It was in Vienna that he became friends with Joseph Haydn, who was well established and ultimately one of Mozart's biggest fans. Haydn once wrote in a letter, I only wish I could instill in every friend of music, and in great men in particular, the depth of musical sympathy and profound appreciation of Mozart's inimitable music that I myself feel and enjoy. Then nations would vie with each other to possess such a jewel within their frontiers. His final years were enormously prolific. He met Venetian librettist Lorenzo da Ponte in 1785, and together they teamed for The Marriage of Figaro, Don Giovanni, and Così fan tutte within the span of four years. Mozart wrote his final three symphonies in six weeks during the summer of 1788, the 39th, 40th, and the Jupiter, Symphony No. 41. Some of his last works were the Clarinet Concerto, the opera The Magic Flute, which premiered in 1791, the year of his death, and the Requiem, which he was unable to finish. It had to be completed by a student, Franz Xavier Sussmeier. Despite the depiction in Amadeus, Mozart wasn't poisoned and Salieri wasn't responsible. Over the years, dozens of diagnoses have been speculated, including a swelling and dysfunction of the kidneys brought on by an infection. In all, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart wrote more than 600 works, many of which rank among the essential masterpieces of classical music. Composer Aaron Copland wrote of Mozart, It is the happy balance between flight and control, between sensibility and self-discipline, simplicity and sophistication of style that is his particular province. Mozart tapped once again the source from which all music flows, expressing himself with a spontaneity and refinement and breathtaking rightness that has never since been duplicated. 